everybody, Texter here, and welcome to FTL. Now, I recently got my hands on a brand new microphone, so hopefully this will improve the quality of the audio on a lot of my videos. Uh, that said, I'm still actually experimenting with this microphone, and that's what this game is here today. I wanted to carefully pick a game that was a pick-up, go, and drop game. And FTL is perfect for that because once the session is over, it's over. So if the audio is completely unusable, who cares? I'm not ruining any ongoing series. Now, I am still experimenting with this. At the moment, my setup, I'm actually pulling the computer audio using this microphone. So it's just picking it over the speakers. I'm doing this because I'm really hoping to not have to um, use headphones, and if they can pick up the computer audio just fine, the game audio rather, alright, there we go. But, um, if it does kind of create a sort of problem, I will have to, in the next part, probably go ahead and use uh, headphones. So, um, what I think I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing with the stealth ship, the um, Nasario? or whatever that's called, and kick it up onto normal, make sure we have the advanced content enabled. Now, I've never really used the stealth ship. I hadn't even unlocked it properly. If you go into the list of ships, I never actually completed the quest to unlock it. All of these other ships I unlocked properly. I unlocked prior to the advanced content being made. When the advanced edition came out, uh, they had decided that some of these ships were too hard to unlock, and so, like, if you beat the game with the, um, the Zoltan Cruiser, it automatically unlocks the Stealth Cruiser. If you beat the game with the Stealth Cruiser, it automatically unlocks the Rock Ship. If you beat it with the Rock Ship, it automatically unlocks the Slug Cruiser, and so on and so forth. So there is a progression up here. You have to beat the game with one ship to unlock next. And as you can see, I have beaten the game with many, many ships. I'm actually quite decent at this game, or at least I was before the Advanced Edition content came out. Advanced Edition added a ridiculous, ridiculous number of little extra things to think about. So, with Advanced Edition content disabled, I'm easily able to just break the game have myself prepared for anything. Uh, you can't do that in Advanced Edition, and it makes it a lot more fun because you can't be prepared for every situation, and that costs you dearly. Well, I've gone on and rambled on for like three minutes now, so let's kick this off. Let's keep it on normal for now, because um, I'm still not completely used to the Advanced Edition content, and I really shouldn't be jumping up to hard until I'm at least aware of what I'm dealing with. Uh, easy is still quite difficult, but I'm going to keep it on normal because, hey, let's have some fun with it. Okay, so, um, wow, there's not a lot of stuff on this ship. We can kick up our engines at least, because I don't know why that's down this low. So we have a mini beam and dual lasers, which is fantastic. We have some really weak stealth. And I'm also going to make sure I save our crew in the current position. And let's see. Ah, either way is good. I don't like going through nebulas, but when it's a sector like this, if I can kind of work my way this way, this way. Ooh, that is a bit of a journey. I might not be able to... If I swing through here, I probably won't be able to swing through both of these. I don't know. Well, let's try. Nothing ventured, nothing lost. Okay, arrived at a popular populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass protesting a request for aid. Shall we respond? Yes! Great. I was worried nobody would respond. My usual character is days late, and I need you to deliver this cargo of drone parts to a small station a few jumps from here. Can't afford to pay another carrier. They'll surely tip you generously. 
Okay, so I got five drone parts for that. And let's see, is it on the way? It is. Well, that's fantastic. Um, asteroid field there, so let's avoid the asteroid field because we don't have shields and an asteroid field would not be good. Okay. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Well, we can't even pay their toll even if we wanted to, but I don't think we want to. Okay, now what is the hotkey for cloaking? That would be C. So I want to keep my finger on that button, I think. Because, I mean, it's great. We have 30% evasion, which is pretty good at this stage. Oh, great. I was a little bit slow on that. So there went all of our weapons. Uh, well. Oh, fantastic. This just keeps getting better, and I can't even vent this properly. Not without... Ugh. Not without draining the oxygen from here. Ah, uh, we might have to run. This is bad. Ah, uh, this is super bad. Yeah, we're in serious trouble here. First beacon, we're screwed. Um, there's nothing I can do here. Because the whole ship is on fire. How did this happen? Well, thank you for joining me with FTL. <laughs> this was the shortest run I have ever had. <laughs> well, on the plus side, we got 37 points, so... GG, everyone! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so glad this was just an experiment. Uh, well, see you next time, folks. Bye-bye. <laughs>